Hi guys, this is Supriya and I'm back again with another video on Core Java series and today's topic would be operators in Java. So uh, let's start. What are operators in Java? Operators are the uh, symbols that perform the operations on two or more uh, operands. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Consider a scenario wherein uh, you can you just see this uh, this notepad? Okay, here I my first operator is arithmetic operator. So you can see that these are the symbols or the operators, and say plus, minus, multiplication, and these are my operands x and y okay and uh, when i'm using plus as the operator my operands are being added okay so what plus is doing here it is performing the operation on these two operands okay so operators are some symbols uh, it can be arithmetic symbols or uh, logical operators that we will see uh, later but uh, the operators are symbols that are used to perform operations on the operands okay so my first uh, category of operators are arithmetic operators okay so these are the list of arithmetic operators plus minus multiplication division modulus increment decrement okay so i'll just explain this with the help of example uh, i'll just write a small piece of code uh, just to make you understand how these operator works in java okay and let me just open my eclipse okay so i have already uh, created the package java basics in the last couple of videos and I have created the class so let me create another class because this class is for identifiers so I'll go to my project Java sessions uh, on this source folder I'll do a right click okay just a moment okay on this package Java basics I'll do a right click and I'll create a class uh, say operators okay and I'll select the main method and I'll do finish okay now I have this package Java basics inside the package I have my class operators and this is my main method which is starting point of execution okay now uh, I'll declare some variables say int x this is my variable x which is of the data type int this is my keyword int which has the meaning as an integer okay and uh, x is my variable okay uh, so int x equals 3 or let's say 5 and you have to write the uh, semicolon at the end okay whenever you are declaring a variable uh, you have to write the uh, semicolon at the end okay now I'll declare another variable say int y equals 2 okay now I want to perform addition on these two operands uh, on okay so how would i do that i'll use operator the plus sign as the operator to perform this task so there is a now i want to print the result of x plus y in this console window this is my console window of eclipse here what is done here the results uh, that are executed you know the code which is executed and the output which is coming out of the execution 
is displayed here in on console so in order to print your output or result on console we make the use of this class system dot out dot print ln we will learn uh, more about system dot out dot print ln uh, in uh, detail in future videos but just for now just understand this that if you want to print any result or output on console we write the code like this system dot out dot print ln print ln is the method system is the class the, which is already there in java library so they are the predefined methods and class okay so print ln is a method so inside this method i have to write my uh, value or that uh, the output that i want to print here on the console okay so i want to add these operands x plus y by the use of the operator so how do i do that so i'll just write x plus sorry plus y okay so let me just check if this is printing my result so i'll just run this okay there are some errors oh uh, i made some mistakes I'll do, okay this is in caps so i'm so sorry this should be in small okay as you can see that my variable y is in small letters okay so that was the error which i didn't see over here okay now let me just run this so so what is my output seven five plus two is seven so x is five y is two and my operator plus has added these two operate operands okay so the output has come up to be seven okay now in the same way if i use minus as the operator operator it will subtract uh, and you can for homework you can practice these rest of the operators okay on eclipse i'll just tell you this increment and decrement okay so this is how you write okay so let my x value be 5 only and here here i will write plus plus x semicolon so what uh, and i want to print my x value now so what is happening here is first i'm telling the system that x is the variable of int type and it is storing a uh, literal as 5 okay the value as 5 here so x is 5 and in the second code I have increased the value of x by 1 okay so it will become 6 so if you are putting plus plus uh, before the variable x that means you are increasing the value of 5 by 1 okay so and I want to now now print the value of x so what should be the value of x this time it should be 6 okay so let's run this so as you can see here the value of uh, uh, x is 6 because here it uh, stored the value of 5 and in this line of code uh, it increased the value of 5 by 1 which is 6 and here it got printed okay so you can practice rest of the operators okay and th so this is these are the list of arithmetic operators so let me just uh, show you another type of operator 
So these are the assignment operators. Assignment operators are equals to. Okay. So very good example is this only. When you are writing a value here, you are declaring the variable and you are writing is equal to in between. So this is equal to sign is the assignment operator. That means you are assigning 5 as the value to this variable. That's how you say. Okay. So that is the reason this equals to operator is the assignment operator. Okay. So there are many ways uh, wherein you can use these assignment operators like equals to plus equals to 3. So plus equals to 3 is nothing but, you know, if this is x plus equals to 3, this is same as x is equal to x plus 3. Okay. If it is x minus equals to 3, so it's same as x equals to x minus 3. Okay. Uh, so let me just write over here. In this line of code, I'll say x plus equals to 3 and semicolon. So what it will do here in the first line of code, JVM will understand that, okay, my the value of x is of in type, integer type, okay, and its value is 6. Now here, it will come here and it will see that, okay, this is x is equal to x plus 3 because plus, plus is equal to means uh, x is equal to x plus 3, okay. So what it will do, it will, I'm just writing it like this, x is equal to x plus 3. So this is same as this, okay. So what it will do, first it will understand, okay, the value of x is 5, so 5, okay, 5, here 5 is plus 3 is 8. So, and now I want to print the value of x on console. So, it will print 8 here. Okay. So, let's see if the value comes uh, to be 8. Let me just run this. And see, the value has been printed as 8. Okay. And uh, there are some other uh, assignment operators. So when you, if you Google it, you will get uh, the list of all the uh, arithmetic assignment operators that you can practice. Okay, these are all the list of assignment operators. We mostly use uh, these operators. Okay, the arithmetic operators, and uh, uh, in assignment operators, we use equals to, plus equals to till here okay and now the next category of operators are comparison operators when you are comparing two operand operands the value is always uh, is reflected as true or false okay because here the comparison uh, is happening okay so I'll just explain you with the help of example again so here you can see these are some of the comparison operators that we use. So equals to equals to. Here we write two times equals to. Okay. So and here this way you write. Okay. X equals to equals to Y. So. Okay. So here I'll print another variable or declare another variable. Int Y equals to 3. Okay, and I'm as I just want to print the, you know, uh, I want to compare these two variables and then I want to display the results if that is true or not. So I'll say x equals to sorry equals to equals to y. 
so it will display the results as uh, false because 5 is not equal to 3 okay so let's run this and check yes see the result has been displayed as false okay and you this operator with the exclamatory mark and equals to is a, is a not equal to sign okay so how to use this so if i just i'll just give you the same example if i just replace this with this okay now this time the value will be true over here because 5 is not equal to 3 right so x is not equal to y so this time the value the result will be true see it's true over here so this is how you use uh, uh, the operators so these are the list of comparison operators like equals to uh, not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to and this is how you write okay less than or equal to okay and let me just come to another category which is java logical operators what are these operators logical operators like and and these are some special characters and and uh, this is where uh, like there are two uh, sorry guys just a moment okay sorry about that so these are the logical operators okay so how to use them so this is way this is the example that they have given and uh, you can write it like this okay just a moment let me go to eclair okay so here first i'll uh, initialize my variable say int x is equal to uh, say 5 okay and then I'll just remove this and x is greater than 5 and x is uh, less than 10 so do you think that sorry uh, let me just make this 3 because already x has the value of 5 so it will check this AND operator, AND AND logical operator will check two conditions on the left and on the right. On the left it will check if x is greater than 3. So yes, this is satisfied, this condition is satisfied. On the right it will check if x is lesser than 10. Yes, so both the conditions are true and hence true will be displayed here so let's run this and check okay so you can see that true is being displayed now okay just a moment let me just open that word file okay now I'll this is the or operator operator so if I just replace this and operator with or okay like this so any one of uh, these two conditions should be met okay so if any one of the uh, conditions is met it will display true here so uh, let me just make this condition as false so now this time here x is greater than 6 no this is false but on the right side you can see that x is lesser than 10 okay so this is true so it will display true so here you can see it's true and if I put another uh, if I use this logical operator which is logical not okay so I'll just put the exclamatory mark here. Okay, just a moment guys. I'll just enclose this inside the bracket. Okay, so here 
from here till here my value is true but here I am putting logical not so it will become false okay so let's see so see the value becomes false so this is how you use uh, operators in Java and in the next video we will learn more about a core java series and for now you have a great day you have a great weekend stay safe stay healthy goodbye